Good morning everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to our 17th edition of our consumer education series Niveshkar Befikar presented to you by your reliable platform policybazaar.com. So today we are going to discuss the benefits of renewing your health insurance policy and what are some of the additional benefits that come along with it. Covid so far as we all know has taught us the importance of health insurance like never before in every possible manner and renewing your health insurance cover is as important as buying a new one and there are many prominent insurers giving you additional benefits for example like discounts on renewals as well to discuss this and many more of uh, resolve many more of your queries we have with us our expert today amit chhabra who's the head of uh, health insurance and travel insurance with policybazaar.com welcome to the webinar amit thanks thanks for picking us So Amit since we all know that uh, last year many of us bought health insurance but we bought it in a rush and because we bought it in a rush uh, we didn't end up buying the policies that should uh, that would uh, help us what is your message to those consumers you know those policy holders who are looking to renew their policies what should they renew their policies to what kind of sum insured should they look for and you know in the first renewal year what is it they should uh, they should renew their policies to to get a to get an adequate cover given covid is still here with us see there are there are two three parts that are important the the first part and it's very 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 relevant right now because uh, covid is is out there you know and all of us somewhere are at risk so i think a uh, very very important to ensure that you have adequate some insured i think that is the single biggest point that i would like to make that you must have adequate sum insured now what is adequate uh and it varies a lot you know by person to person by which geography you are in etc so let's say if you are in in a tier 1 city like a delhi bombay bangalore uh, chennai calcutta and so on and so forth so then if you are in a large city where there are hospitals which are fairly expensive then what you must go for is a high sum insured plan and you must look to have at least 10 lakhs per person of sum insured in your policy So let's say if you are uh, three people in your policy, you know there are uh, there is a husband, a wife, and a child. Then the minimum sum insured that you must look to have is at least thirty lakh rupees. If you don't have it in your current policy, renewal is a good time to relook at that. And what you what you might want to do at the time of renewal is either increase the sum insured in your current policy, or buy a super top up to uh, enhance the sum insured. or there's a third option you can also look to port but but it's best to it's best to sort of you know stay with your current policy and increase the sum insured that is the best way when it comes to sum insured so that's one the the second important thing and again very very specific right now because of covid is coverage for consumable items so in in covid treatment typically what we see is ppe kits cost a lot because you know they they get used up in covid treatment a lot and the expense does does jack up very very fast So again, you want to buy a policy which covers for consumables. Luckily, there are now policies which which cover for consumables. Uh, the 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 important thing there is that uh, that you know either either buy a policy which covers for consumables by default, or the other option is you can also buy add-ons uh, at the time of renewal of your policy to basically make sure that your policy covers for consumables. Like for example, uh, with a Max Buka policy, they have a rider called Safeguard. which in which which costs only about 4 to 5% of premium but it gives you coverage for consumables similarly if you have a religiar policy that also has a similar rider so i think coverage for consumables is also one very critical point that you must look at at the time of renewal so i would say these are the two important points one is look at adequate sum insured and second is look for consumable coverage in your policy with covid cases rising consumables have become an important part of a health insurance cover that uh, insurers are giving but uh, amit just to be precise uh, what is the right time to renew the policy and what benefits to uh, and or discounts by my say a company uh, one's policies while renewing it there's a renewal date that comes with every policy and uh, you know that that basically if, if you've bought a single year policy then it one year um, there is after one year of your policy getting issued If you bought a multi-year policy, like a two-year or a three-year policy, then accordingly the the renewal will happen after two or three years. So there is a there is a renewal uh, uh, date that is assigned to your policy, and you must renew before that. That is very very important. In fact, what is what is advisable is to renew a few days before that because processing does take a bit of time. And right now, in in the current COVID time, you know things are a bit slow. They take a bit of time. uh because you know there are so many people who are not well even the insurers and as well 
so i would i would suggest at least 10 days before uh, uh, before you know your policy is due you must must uh, renew your policy to get a discount on the policy so there are two types of discounts typically that are available the first one is a multi year discount what this means is that if you buy a two year or a three year policy then you get a discount on uh, uh, on the premium and the, the the discount varies from 7.5% to 15% according uh, across different insurers so the one way to do it is buy a multi year policy and get that discount but obviously you know it, it does mean that uh, uh, it does mean that you know it it comes with uh, a higher outlay at the beginning itself so that's a that's a uh, sort of a cost benefit analysis that one must do for themselves that's one second uh, so a lot of policies now also come with discounts for staying healthy and and for that the the way the insurance company measures uh, staying healthy is is by looking at uh, uh, the steps that you take or you know the, the let's say how much do you walk every day or through, through the year for that and again some policies are eligible for it not all but you might want to look at your current policy and understand if it is eligible for some of these discounts these are very easy to claim also you just have to download an application and that application stays in your phone and it measures the number of steps that you are taking throughout the day and automatically that gets into a discount there are some policies which give as much as 100% discount as well on on premium so so again that's another way to lower your premium uh, while while keeping the benefits the same amit what if someone misses out on the renewal date will he still be able to get the benefits renewal benefits uh so every policy does come with a grace period not advisable to obviously miss your renewal but every policy does come with a grace period what does this mean is uh that that up to up to 30 days of expiry of your policy so let's say if my policy is expiring on the 1st of may then for the next 30 days i can at any point renew my policy the disadvantage of that is so let's say if your policy expires on the 1st of may and there is a claim on the 4th of may you will not be eligible for that claim that's the biggest problem with that so so advisable the the, the basic advice to everybody is to renew in time but in case because of some reason let's say you missed it or you know there was there was some other reason why you missed it then you do have that 30 day grace period not advisable but yes you do have that 30 day grace period uh, through which you can uh, you can renew your policy absolutely so if you um, if i ask you to brief our viewers a little bit on the process involved here in terms of renewal um, what would you like to tell our viewers here so renewal is actually a very simple process of extra it, it 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 does it does take about 2 minutes only so uh, when whenever your policy is due for renewal you will get a, a notifications from us you will also get notifications from insurance company our our people will also reach out to you uh, you know over over whatsapp over phone over emails over sms so we'll make sure that you know that your policy is due for renewal a uh, renewal process is fairly simple it is basically a payment that you have to make and in case you want to make a change then that needs to be done so typical changes are like we just discussed if you want to increase the sum insured then that's a change so you have to apply for that in case you want to add a rider in your policy you have to apply to that rider like like the consumables coverage rider that we discussed additionally if let's say you want to uh, you want to add a member in your policy let's say if you've gotten married or you have a child now which you didn't have earlier uh, so you want to add a member in your family again that's also a, a manual process that is there but all of that can be done at the time of renewal itself so your renewal advisor you need to inform your renewal advisor about about this and then rest will be taken care of after that one very important thing that you must do at the time of renewal also and that's very very uh, advisable in case uh, let's say you've been healthy all through and when you bought the policy you were completely healthy but in case during the last year you have acquired some pre existing disease like let's say now you have hypertension or diabetes something chronic i'm not talking about something like covid or or something or a minor illness but something like uh, something like diabetes hypertension a heart problem or something so on and so forth if you if you have acquired any of those in the last one year it is very important to inform the insurance company they do nothing about it no waiting period nothing at all but it's 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 good to inform rather to the insurance company because so once you inform them then they won't investigate it at the time of claim in case there is a claim ever later on in, in your in your policy so it's better to inform ahead rather than rather than not inform that's one it does not impact anything but it's always better to inform that's part one 
second thing if let's say in the future let's say 2 years 3 years down the line you want to port your policy and you have acquired a pre existing disease now it's again better to put it on your policy copy now so that whenever you port your policy let's say to another insurer then this disease will be covered from scratch itself it won't it won't it won't attract a fresh waiting period so even from that perspective it's it's always good always advisable to inform the insurance company ahead in case you have you had a pre existing disease we have a question coming in from mohit birmani amit like you mentioned uh, 10 lakh sum in short his question is if my policy has domiciliary hospitalization home care uh, up to 10% of sum in short can i get reimbursement claim for covid home care and he also asks uh, why should you uh, why 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 do you suggest a 10 lakh cover and not a 5 lakh plus top up super top up so first of all you can get the reimbursement claim for uh, for covid home care i think from what i understand you mostly have a healthcare or a care health policy which has that 10% uh, limit uh, what is very very important to understand is the definition of domiciliary hospitalization domiciliary hospitalization basically means that hospitalization was required but a bed wasn't available hence the treatment was taken at home so you would you would need a clear guideline from the medical practitioner you are you are showing to a doctor that hospitalization was required but it wasn't taken up because uh, because beds weren't available so that is that is one very very important thing as of now there are there are about four insurers in the in, in the country who cover for domiciliary hospitalization for covid one of them is care health i think that's the policy that you have mohit then there is max bupa there is hdfc ergo and then there is icic lombard these are the four insurers which do cover for domiciliary hospitalization for covid very specifically in general almost everybody provides but for covid these are the four large companies which do provide this coverage important to just go through the terms and conditions of this again the first biggest thumb rule is that hospitalization must be required the second important point is there should be at least 3 days of treatment at home and third there has to be there has to be a clear line of treatment so somebody must be checking on a regular basis you must be noticing the uh, you must be noting down the vitals of the patient the oxygen levels and so on and so forth uh and there has to be a proper line of treatment like happens at a hospital right at the hospital there is a file created where vitals are checked up and all make sure that you have all of that maintained because that is very important when you go for a claim of a domiciliary hospitalization otherwise it's a fairly simple process you can apply for a claim as a reimbursement process and this is done fairly fast and it's all online right now you don't have to submit any physical documents also to submit just photograph or scan copies and uh, rest is taken care of after that so once you can you can take a top up as well and make it 10 lakhs or you can buy a base plan of 10 lakhs that is completely up to you but have coverage of 10 lakhs i think that's the point i'm trying to make here and and mind you 10 lakhs per person is is probably the minimum that one must have if you can afford i would rather say buy buy a cover up to 1 crore rupees and it's not very expensive so the the price variation between 10 lakhs and 1 crore is minimal but it gives you 10 times more coverage so i would rather say go for a 1 crore cover and again you can either go for a for a one crore cover in one shot or you can take a top up as well either way is okay a uh, very genuine question like everyone asks this from pavan namit here can benefits of existing policy be transferred while renewal do health insurance uh, health insurance give riders like accidental benefits etc one benefit can be can be trans definitely they actually do get transferred to a new policy in case you renew there are two ways to do it let's say if you have an existing policy from uh, from somewhere outside and not policy bazar then you can if you want you can port out to a new policy within policy bazar and all the existing benefits that you have like let's say you if you have already served the waiting period on your previous policy you won't have to serve them again so everything will be covered in the policy from day one itself that's one in case you have an existing policy from policy bazar only and you want to move to something else let's say you want to move to a better policy or a newer policy or a cheaper policy whatever the case may be then again you port and by portability i mean the benefits get transferred to a new policy so that also uh, is taken care of so you don't have to start from scratch basically in case you are porting your policy very important to just just keep this in mind you have to port your policy you don't have to buy a fresh policy altogether you get the same policy the same price but the process is just slightly different this is one small online form to be filled so you have to port your policy that's the only one difference we have a question from nishant Nishanchal, please throw some light on porting of insurance policies. Why or why should not we consider porting, especially for senior citizens? 
Voting can be considered if there is a need to be honest, right? And need can arise because of a few reasons. A need can arise if, let's say, you want to increase the sum insured, and that option is not available in your current policy. Like I'll give you an example. A lot of a lot of senior citizens are are you know are on old PSU policies of two lakh, three lakh, four lakh sum insured, and they don't get an option to increase the sum insured over there. So for them, it becomes imperative to port. Secondly, you might port if your current policy becomes very expensive. So you might want to look at uh, uh, look at cheaper options if there are there. Third, you might want to port if your current policy does not have good benefits or you know it has limitations. So even in this case, uh, you can look to port to a better policy with better features. So if there is a need, you must you you should definitely look for options. If there is no need, then and if you are fairly happy with your current policy, you know you should definitely continue with what you have. We have a question coming on uh, pre-existing diseases from Ganesh here, Ramit. He says, if I can change the insurer, will I still get the benefits of uh, the pre-existing diseases that was covered with the that will be covered with the new insurer? Um, this is from Nishanchal. Sorry, not from Ganesh. So yes. there are no, as I said earlier, there are no fresh waiting periods that apply when you port. If you have already served your waiting periods in in the previous policy. Then there are no fresh waiting periods. It gets covered from day one itself. So just to give you a simple example, let's say if uh, I have diabetes and I've been, I have already served my, I have a five five year old policy, let's say currently, and now I've already served all the waiting periods. So now there won't be any fresh waiting periods for diabetes for me when I port the policy. Everything will be covered from day one itself. So it's fairly simple that way for for customer. Ganesh has to say here that. I have a HDFC Ergo Health policy and want to understand about super top up facility while renewal. You can buy a top up from HDFC Ergo also. You can buy a top up from somewhere else also, as in a different company as well. Generally, it's advisable to buy a top up from the same company. So the top up and the and the health insurance plan should be from the same company. That is always advised. Why it helps is because one, the features and benefits in the two then remain similar, and secondly and more importantly, at the time of claim. So at a hospital, it gets difficult to claim uh, to initiate a claim from two companies in parallel. But if you have bought the uh, both the top up and the base plan from the same company, then the claim can be initiated in one go itself. So always advisable to uh, to you know to buy the top up from the same company. That is very very important. We have a good question from Akshay Jain coming in. Amit he says, I want to add my kid and parents in the health insurance, which is a good thing, which is a good decision. I want to know how this can be done, and do I have to wait for renewal, or can I add in between the policy term? Some insurers which allow you to add a member mid year as well, whereas some don't. Some allow at the time of renewal itself. So we'll have to we'll have to check. uh you know we'll have to check with uh, with 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 us or with the insurance company on that and if it is allowed mid year then we will uh, do it right now otherwise uh, you can do it at the time of renewal same applies for parents as well however when you are adding parents in your policy the the general advice is to not add parents in your policy but it's always better to add parents to basically get a separate policy for the parents the reason why it's important is because when you when you when you are basically when you are when you are covering your parents if you add them in the same policy as where you are then the premium will increase because the premium of a policy is based on the eldest member's age so right now you may be the eldest member in your in your policy but when you add your parent suddenly the eldest uh, member age of the policy let's say from 30 will go to 50 or 60 so the premium so the premium will increase for everybody So in in such a scenario, always advisable to get a separate policy for your parents and separate policy for yourself. That will that will ensure that uh, premiums are far more cost effective than uh, uh, than you know than they would be if you add everybody in the same policy. We have another question from Ashish Kataria Amit. He says, which is the best health insurance provider company in India, and how much cover should be taken for a family of uh, of three or four, husband, wife, and two children? Sure. Uh, so, the second one is easy to answer. As I said, uh, uh, you must look to have at least ten lakh rupees per person of sum insured. In your case, since you are four of you, I would rather suggest go for the one crore sum insured plan because one crore is is the sum insured that you need because that will fairly cover you against anything and everything that may happen. Coming to the first question, which is the best provider? See, it, it depends on your requirements. To be very honest, you know, uh, because and everybody has very different requirements. I would rather tell you the th- the uh, some of the things to keep in mind when you are looking to buy a policy. First is sum insured, so definitely look at that. Second, of course, is premium. So again, you should definitely look at the cost that you are paying for it. But apart from that, 
there are a few things that you must look at the first thing is look at the uh, the cashless network hospital of the insurance company that you're going for make sure that the hospitals that you typically would want to go to they are all covered cashless in the health insurance policy also look at uh, look at the claim settlement ratio of the company you would want to buy a policy which has the highest claim settlement ratio so that's another thing that you must look at when you are uh, uh when you are when you are buying the policy then look at limitations like room rent limitations or or co-payments or coverage for consumables etc i think these are also very important things that you that you must look at so these are the few things that you must look at when you are looking to uh, looking to buy a policy for yourself rest when you talk to our advisors i think they will be the best people to gauge your exact requirement and then they can guide you with the exact policy that they think is best for you we have a very relevant question here from shrija amit she's uh, renewing her policy with us uh, in a month's time her question is we have hdfc ergo health insurance for my parents i need to renew it this month so kindly clarify i've got a call uh, saying that uh, amount will get increased as my dad age gets old one year every insurance company uh, decide premium based on age slab by slab i mean uh, so let's say there's a premium for 30 to 35 years Then 32, to 35 to 40, 36 to 40 is a, is a separate is an increased premium. Then again at the age 41 premium increases. Then again at age 46 premium increases. So on and so forth. So I think I think what you're referring to is that the premium for for your dad policy will increase when a when his age increases and specifically I'm assuming he will make a five year jump, like a, a jump from eight, uh, from let's say 65 to 66 or 65 to 60 and so on. So, whenever the slab changes, premium does increase. That is that is definitely there. So, I think what what you you might have heard from our advisor is is to buy a two year or a three year policy because in that case, what you do is you lock in the premium for two years or three years. So, the advantage, the simple advantage that you get is if you lock in your premium, if you had not locked in, then next year the premium would have increased because the age slab would have changed. So, I think that's that, that is what is being advised to you to buy a multi year policy because that will. Save you money uh, next year because otherwise the premium would have increased next year. Absolutely, Shrija. Hope this was uh, helpful, and uh, we can go ahead and renew your policy with uh, Policy Bazaar with us without any uh, issue. We have a question coming from Shweta Tripathi. She says, uh, "Currently, I have a policy of some insured, some insured." um since last 3 years with star health now my question is if i have claim during current year and what will be my revised sum in short uh, next year during renewal so uh, it depends on which policy you have as in uh, so star health also has multiple policies so we'll have to look at we'll have to look at that uh, uh, but but essentially how it works is so over time you accumulate uh, in case you don't claim you accumulate no claim bonus and that keeps getting added to your sum insured now i'm assuming uh, you probably had a 10 lakh policy when you started and then you, over 3 years you have accumulated uh, 3 lakh 50000 rupees more as a, as i can read so in case in case you claim during the current year essentially then what happens is the the benefit that you had accrued over last year let's say let's say you accrued 1 lakh 50000 last year as extra sum insured that will go down by 1 lakh 50000 again So, if let's say you were at uh, 12 lakhs the year before, and then from 12 lakhs it became 13 lakh 50 thousand, then in case at 13 lakh 50 thousand, if you claim, then it will go back to 12 lakhs again. I think I think that is what will happen because I don't know the exact policy that you have, but also there are a lot of policies which say that in case you claim, the no claim bonus never reduces; it only goes up; it never comes down. So, in case you have one of those policies, then it will stay at 13 lakh 50 thousand. or otherwise as i said it will go down depending on the exact policy you might want to read up the policy document that you have or reach out to us or your relationship manager and we'll help you understand this better absolutely you can also mail uh, to us on the id policy bazaar show at the rate policy bazaar.com we can try and help you with, um, uh, as much as possible we have uh, one has, more question uh, picture i think shweta has uh, replied with the policy name it's optima the family has yeah. optima i would understand yeah. Yes. In that, if I remember right, the the sum insured will reduce. So I, it will go back to the slab that at which you were last year. So let's say last year last year you were at twelve lakh, you will go down to twelve lakh again, but it will stay there. In case you claim that is. 
and uh, there's another question from jay now on this renewal part i have renewed the policy for hdfc ergo for 3 years for my mom and also have taken additional top up for 10 lakhs will the top up amount uh, policy include pre existing diseases is his question yes it is it's a very pertinent question so whenever you increase your sum insured be it via top up or increasing the sum insured in your current policy itself whenever it it the increase whatever the increased sum insured is that will that will have waiting period for nuclear uh, for the pre existing diseases because it is the, it's an extension to your current policy so let's say if you had 5 lakhs earlier uh, or rather you have 10 lakhs right so you have 10 lakhs earlier and in 10 lakhs you have served all the waiting period now let's say if you are buying a new policy uh, buying a top up or you are extending the sum insured of your current policy from 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs or you are buying a top up of 10 lakhs to make it 20 lakhs in all of those conditions the the incremental or the new sum insured will attract waiting period it's it's almost as if you are buying a new policy so in the same way it will attract uh, uh, new wait, uh, waiting period and you'll have to serve those waiting period before it become completely seamless coverage but it's only for pre existing diseases and some other name illnesses like knee replacement and all apart from that accidents and things like covid or critical illnesses like cancer and all infectious diseases everything is covered otherwise you don't have to serve a long waiting period for it we have a question here that uh, for me my wife and my kid i have a corporate policy but do you think i should go ahead and uh, also buy a retail health insurance plan you must i think it's a very common question uh, number 1 the sum insured in a corporate policy is never enough the sum insured that you would have always heard of in a corporate policy is 2 lakh 3 lakh 5 lakh right you never get a 1 crore rupees or even a 10 lakh rupees in a corporate policy is very very rare so it one it won't be sufficient you know in case you need a large claim that's problem one problem two is right now you let's say you're working in a company and that company is even giving you 5 lakh sum insured let's say you move a company you move to a different company you become an entrepreneur or you retire at some point in all of those cases your coverage will cease to exist and in that case you will be left without a cover which specifically later on in life is not a good thing because in case you suffered from some pre existing illness which is major by then it becomes difficult to even get a policy at that stage so always always advisable to have an individual policy and don't depend on a corporate policy because you may, you don't know till when you will have the corporate policy absolutely then third problem yeah. third problem most corporate policies come with limits So limits like room rent limit, like the maximum room allowed is ten thousand rupees or five thousand rupees. The problem with that is, if you go to a good hospital, the room rent is fifteen, seventeen, eighteen thousand rupees. Like today at Apollo Hospitals in Sarita Vihar, Delhi, the which is like the best hospital in one of the best hospitals in Delhi and Sarita, the room is worth seventeen thousand rupees, but the but the policy only says ten thousand. So that becomes a problem because uh, because you know now. now you rest of the money will have to come from your pocket which again is something that you wouldn't want but most individual policies come with a clause of no room rent capping so that's that's a lot easier and it works it works obviously uh, right so i think these are the three big reasons why one must have an individual policy of your own you should def- it's and it's not very expensive it's probably 1000 rupees a month to 2000 rupees a month right at best so it's not very expensive but it gives you a lot of peace of mind for your lifetime rather than rather than you know being dependent on somebody or not having adequate coverage so we have a question from ganesh also he's worried about health premiums rising amit maybe you can clarify that nothing of this sort is happening any time soon as a so there is there is no there is you know what is happening right now is only rumors are coming in but there is no price increase that's happening right now so just to just to uh, give you all some background health insurance price increase is not is not uh, very quick and easy it takes a long time it requires the regulator to approve a price increase and regulators are not a regulator is not approving price increases right now because it is difficult already for customers to pay so in such a scenario price rises are very very rare and there is no such price rise happening because of covid so you can be rest assured there is no price rise happening in the near future as well we have one last question that we'll be taking from pulkit uh, for in today's webinar he says uh, my policy that i bought last year has a mandatory copay of 20% is it possible to get ported to a policy without any copay at all absolutely you can you can you can definitely so at the time of renewal you must look for a better policy which does not have a copay and uh, and you know yeah you must port out because copay will mean that eventually uh, eventually that you'll have to pay from your pocket 
So it's absolutely okay. You can port out to a policy which has no copayment. Shweta says, if I would like to increase my sum insured at current policy, then please confirm from when should I get the benefit. Let's say you have a ten lakh policy right now. Uh, you want to increase uh, the sum insured to twenty lakh, let's say, or let's say you want to increase it to one crore. Then what you will do is you'll buy a top up of ninety lakhs to to cover for the ten lakhs. So now it becomes a ten plus ninety. The ninety lakh policy will have fresh waiting periods as as there are waiting periods in the new policy. So what are these waiting periods? Typically, every policy comes with a thirty day waiting period for uh, for all non accident claims. So accidents are covered from day one. But everything else gets covered after thirty days, including COVID, for example. Although there are now some policies which cover COVID earlier as well, but most most infectious diseases and all are covered after thirty days. Then there are some named illnesses like knee replacement, hernia, cataract, basically slow-growing diseases. These get covered after two years in 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 any new policy. And the same will apply to a top-up as well. And then there are. There is a pre-existing disease waiting period in case you have a pre-existing disease like diabetes, hernia, cataract, etc. Then all of these diseases will be covered after the stipulated waiting period, let's say three years or four years, as it was in your existing policy. So it is like buying a new policy altogether, but it increases the total sum insured that you have. That is that is how the uh, a top up or an increase sum insured works. Amit, uh, one last question of Ashish that we missed. He says, "Can my son-in-law?" Is can my son-in-law be the health insurance policy proposer? Yes, he can be. So you can you can insure a lot of your relatives, including uh, as as a proposer. I can I can insure my father-in-law or mother-in-law as well. So that can be done. In that case, the tax benefit and all is is uh, is taken by by the proposer. But yes, obviously you do get coverage. Absolutely, Ashish. Hope uh, we've answered your query and uh, thank you everyone for uh, registering today and coming onto the webinar. We've discussed a lot of things today, not just renewals, porting, and also a lot of home care policies that take care of your home care treatments during COVID. That is very important. So, everyone, please thank you once again. And Amit, thanks a lot. Um, that you've not been well, but you still uh, we've just uh, completed the session. Hopefully, everyone was satisfied with the responses. Thank you, guys. Once again, we'll be back. Uh, uh next friday with another webinar with another topic and see you till then thank you thank you, thank you.